You just got your new Echo and you're ready to start playing with it. But before you do, you gotta set it up. In this video, we'll go through that. Hi, my name is Craig. On this channel, I do tech tips and reviews along with the weekly Echo series. Check out the description. I'll put links in there to the Echo if you wanna learn more about them. Please use those links. They definitely help the channel out. Now this isn't part of my normal Echo series. This is my holiday setup edition for those of you who got new Echoes. Also, I changed the name of my device to Echo, so hopefully I don't trigger your device at home. Let's get started. I'll show you how to set up both the newer generation devices and the first and second generation devices too. You got your new Echo, you're ready to set it up, start playing. You got the power cord out of the box. Now, first step, set those aside. You're gonna need a tablet or a smart device for iPhone, iPad. You're gonna need to go to the App Store. For Android devices, go to the Google Play Store. For Fire HD tablets and those devices, you'll need to go to the Amazon App Store. Download the app. Once you have it downloaded, it's time to plug in an R device. Let's plug in the power adapter into the back of the Echo. Plug the other into a wall or a power strip. First thing we're gonna see here are the blue lights and the little turquoise going around. Takes a moment that will be prompted with the sound. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. You'll see that yellow ring going. It's waiting to go into the app. This is where you'll go into the app, log into the app. Let's log into our app here. So now that I've logged in, you're going to be prompted. It'll ask who you are based on the account that you're logging in with. You could then choose if you're somebody else. Pick uh, who you are or if you're somebody else. Confirm your first and last name. You're gonna be prompted if you wanna give permission to the app to use your contacts and to send you notifications. So we'll allow that. We'll hit okay. Will allow it to send notifications. It'll show you a little bit about the app. If you're at this screen and you've gone in and logged in the app, picked who you are, go to the three lines on top. You'll click add a device. From here, you'll see the different type of devices that you can add into the app and the devices you have. We're going to add an echo. This is the dot. We're using the third generation. It'll show, set up your Amazon Echo. It'll ask if you're seeing the orange light and it's showing the dot that's available there. I'll click on that. And now it's asking for my network. I'll pick my network, enter the password, hit connect, and it's now connecting the Echo Your device is ready. Hit continue. It's now ready. Do you want to connect an external speaker to your dot with a cable, Bluetooth, any of that stuff? Uh, use it. Use the speaker that's built in. We're just going to use the speaker that's built in. Let's give it a name. Uh, we can pick our own name. This will be the office dot. Now we're good to go. You can close the app out. Let's uh, try it. Echo, what time is it? It's 7.25 p.m. There we go. We're up and going. Echo, what's the weather today? Right now in Agora Hills, it's 55 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Tonight's forecast has clouds with a low of 47 degrees. Cool. Now it's ready to use. Let's look at setting up one of the second generation devices, such as the second gen dot or a standard second generation Echo. This process will be a little different. We'll power it up, we'll see the same blue lights come on and the light moving around. Hello, let's get started. Just install the Alexa app and follow the instructions. Now we'll use our Alexa app here. And let's add a device. We're gonna add an Echo. 
This is a dot. We'll pick that. And this is a second generation. Now we'll hit continue. This is going to be setting up the Wi-Fi. We're seeing the orange light going around. We'll hit continue. And now it's saying we need to look for this device under our Wi-Fi settings. Because you actually have to connect directly to the device to do this process. I do see the orange light. I need to open up my settings on my phone and go to Wi-Fi. And look for this device here. And it is the Amazon 26B. Click on that. Once we have a connection. Connected. Go ahead and finish setup in your Alexa app. Back to the app. It's now saying continue our setup. It's finding the different networks. I'll select the network that's mine. And since I have that password saved in the phone, it's grabbing the password for my network. And it'll take a moment for it to connect up. Now it's online. Let's hit continue. I'm going to use the built-in speaker on this one. Let's just call this the living room. Hit continue. Now it's ready to go too. I've changed the name on this device too. Echo, tell me a joke. Actually, my friend Jimmy Fallon wants to tell a joke. Let's give him a shot. What did the horse say to the scarecrow? <laughs> hey. <laughs> so what do you think? Should I let Jimmy tell the jokes for a while? Sure. Okay, Jimmy will tell the jokes for a while. But remember, if you ever miss me, just say, I miss your jokes. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, that was interesting. So that's how you set up one of the older generation devices. That's how you get your device online and ready to go. If you want to learn more about setting up your device and diving into the setting, check out the next video. Also, I do have a video of the top 10 everyday uses for the Echo. That may give you some ideas. Along with my 52 week Echo video series, there's a lot of different stuff I've covered over the past year. So what do you plan on using this device for? Let me know in the comments section. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you haven't, consider subscribing and click that bell to be notified of the next video. If you'd like to help support the channel, check out the Amazon links in the description. If you use it, Amazon will kick the channel back a little. Also, there's links in there to the merchandise store if you want to check that out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.